What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Got something for you today. We got a studio tour. Let's check it out. So this right here is what you guys are used to seeing. Actually, you're used to kind of seeing it like this. So let's check out first what we've got going on over here. I've got two Vizio 43 inch TVs right here, flat screens. We've got them put together. We've got some tape, uh, tape kind of going down in the inside. Down here, this is how I control everything. So this is my power source for all the lighting here. So these are really cool right here. So I got red going on here. I can choose anything. So I can bring the red down, make it green, make it blue, bring them all up, make it white. Really cool. This also controls everything around the room as well. So the blue lights here, the red, and then the yellow up lights around my desk. The reason I do yellow up lights over there, so you can see me. I also got a clock so I can see what's going on. Got a Radio Shack HDMI matrix. Right now I've got is the output going to the two TVs and one input coming from the desks across. And I've got an old Sony here and this is running to two Kenwood speakers on the edge. So if I wanna come down here, I can watch a movie on one. This is a smart TV, this is not. So if I wanna watch a movie and play some video games, I can just hit wire into Xbox through there. And good to go. I can also turn these two lights any color I want because they are smart LED bulbs. Actually, every LED bulb down here is a smart bulb. We have 24 sound panels across and around the room. These, <laughs> they're a little, little catty corner crooked, eh? But kind of, they're exactly the same as over there, just black. Yes. And I keep it at a brisk 73 degrees. Ba -ba Boom. Let's go over here to check this out. Let's hit, oh yeah, and a futon. Gotta have a futon, a little, little table. Nothing crazy, but you know, if somebody needs to come over or something, it's all cool. Got a room right there, got a bedroom and a bathroom through there. This is my side desk. I keep a PC here and a smaller PC tablet there, both windows. It's a little DBX, yeah. Uh, these are what I used to use for my lighting, but now I use my Mac for all my lighting. So we got a nice gooseneck light here really bright Woo! get you a nice little desk area going on get a case for all your specialities and then an extra chair here and a printer just need to print some stuff off also have right here we've got all of our sound panels boom boom and boom 24 again over here as well going gray and blue on these these actually came as a gift from uh, kneeling bull who helped us out when we did the live stream for the logging, which was really cool. Got a couple lights here, so I can tell, uh, okay, Google, turn the lights off. You got it, turning off two lights. Pretty cool. Okay, Google, turn the lights on. Got a little down there. You got it. Bam, turn lights lights are back on. Really cool, got all my power internet up there. Got my Wi-Fi router and my modem in there. Got my rules for recording. Oh yeah. So let's check out this setup right here because this is just totally cool. All right, what do we have going on over here? First, let's start with the chair. We got a Marax racing seat. Very, very cool. I do have the arms on it and everything. It is awesome. Height adjustable, little white racing wheels on it. So, so cool. Got our microphone set up here. Got the microphone booming in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very cool. Again, there's a microphone right there. Pop filter going through. This guy right here was a Shure MVI. And that is my input and my everything. That's what makes it go from a regular microphone into a USB microphone. I prefer it that way. We got three screens here for you. 
you can you can see right here this little green uh, green area that's actually me talking the microphone's picking it up just got done doing a live stream and uh, me and mr. Mustang man were working on some corn I was like hey let's go and start recording so triple screen setup what's going on here so I have this Mac right here it's going on these two screens right there uh, I have the secondary screen and the primary screen in the center now all these are the same they're 20 inch scepter 1080p screens this is the xbox right here so just the xbox pops on that and then we have this is all recording and then over here just got my youtube channel pulled up usually that's i uh, keep everything youtube pulled up over there that way i can see what's going on you know monitor if you guys comment it boom it pops up immediately i can go in and reply to you guys so what's on the desk we'll start from left to right we've got macbook pro 15 inch 2015 model we have an enhanced blue fan system down here so we have four or five fans total which is really cool keeps this very cool i'm using every single output that you can possibly use on here right here we have our two capture cards for doing video this capture card right here if we can get this out of the way is probably going to cause us a little bit of problem but as you see this is the elgato hd60 and the elgato hd60 s I don't have anything coming out, and I'll explain why, but we have our inputs. I have two, ter or, uh, two I have a two terabyte and a one terabyte hard drive here, uh, primary and backup. Backup's currently unplugged. We have a Google. Okay, Google, say hello. Hi, what can I do for you? Stop. Yeah, <laughs> I just got that. It's really cool. Here I've got a HDMI one in four out splitter. So I've got stuff coming from the Xbox One X, which is right here. So let's move that. Bam. <laughs> from coming out of there into here. And then we're splitting that all up. So we've got one in. I think there's only three going out right now. Two are going to these right here. And then the other one is going up to this screen right here. So if something were to happen to the video, I have a redundancy. And I have one more available output, which I can run over there. I think currently it's one of the cables down here. It's kind of tossed it on the floor. Let's talk about speakers. These are really cool. Uh, these came from Rockville. They're the APM5. They're really, really sweet. I'm just going headphone jack out of here into there through an RCA. It's really cool. It works works great. I like it. It works well for me. Down here we have the jumbled mess of cords. Everything going on, but everything is good and it works perfect for what I want it to do. I also have some more cords kind of hanging down, but there you can see we have the up lights and so we have some more power coming out so we can power all of this. Also right here we have the HD webcam logitech hd 1080p some z number i don't know it's really cool got a nice little fan here nothing nothing too crazy just enough and then of course we have the lamps on either end got a little thing that makes the room smell nice and then in these right here i can actually keep stuff in here so in here i've got some headphones and i've got the box from the shore and i also have you can see in there a focus right preamp as well it's what i started using when i was started making videos in here we just got a couple microphone cables spare microphones in case anything were to happen in here we have all the hdmi cables that we need video we've got some uh, hdmi splitters everything's cool and then in here i've just got a bunch of pens pencils stuff like that for work now that is pretty much it. I also have an area over here in the little kitchen. I always have some candles going. I like candles. Makes the room smell nice. Again, I like smelling nice. Got a couple TVs. This one's not even plugged in. It's just another Vizio. Got another 24-inch Vizio here. This is a smart TV. And then we've got an iPad down there. Everything's charging up the charging station. Again, kitchen out. I keep some, some stuff, drinks and everything down here. So that when we're recording, we're hydrating, having a good time. It's not just Gatorade and Red Bull in there, I promise. <laughs> so that is it. That is 
the setup tour right here. This is everything that's going on. Now, I'm gonna answer some of your questions. Ask DJ the 1K special. All right, guys, I'm sitting down and we got Mr. Mustang Man here in the ears. Say what's up. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Yeah. He jumped in here with us again. We were playing and decided, you know, hey, we're in chat. Might as well do the hashtag Ask DJ together. So, very first question comes from Cody Carkeys. Where do you see yourself in one year in the YouTube world? Well, when you asked me this, I'm not sure that we had a thousand subscribers yet. So I would have told you probably two to three thousand subscribers and obviously doing Farming Simulator 19 and doing some fun stuff and every once in a while showing off some really cool mods on PC, something like that. Now, <laughs> we're maybe looking for the amount of subscribers that we have now. If I'm looking at the beginning of August for 2019, I'm thinking probably four to 5,000 subscribers because we have gone just absolutely nuts with a subscriber count. And we're definitely going to be doing everything Farming Simulator 19, going Xbox with it, showing off some really cool mods on PC, all stuff like that. But I'm still going to be doing all gameplay on console because no one else is doing it. So we're going to do it here. I think Mr. Mustang Man probably agree with all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Question number two from Fields of Green Farming. How long have you had your channel? I've been making videos since March 9th of 2018. Or, yeah, 2018. And the first video was first FS19 screenshots. It was the very first video I ever did. I made it on iMovie. I, I used like this basic microphone. I had nothing. And that's what I was using. Question, well, I'll say number three. Next question, Mr. Magnuson, hashtag XD, ask DJ, what made, or what mod do you like best, not map? Ooh, see, I would tell you seasons, and I do really like seasons, but I could also tell you tire dirt, because I really like the tire dirt mod. <laughs> I think the thing that makes everything the best are two Chrome mods. We have the Chrome Big X 1100, and the Chrome Big M500. I think both of those mods together make for just doing cows and doing stuff like that on large scale so easy and so simple. It's just incredible. Um, Mr. Mustang Man, I'm gonna ask you the same thing. What's your favorite mod? Ooh, that's a hard one. Are we talking maps or no mods? Maps. No maps, mods. Okay, so. Probably the Fiat Agri and like all three, like the tires, the tire dirt, the suspension, and the, what else is it? Crop destruction. Ground response and crop destruction, yeah. Yep. Those are probably those, my favorites. Those are cool. Farmer JD says, how old are you and what's your favorite map on Farming Simulator 17? I'm 29 years old when I'm making this at 1,000 subscribers. And my favorite map, I think, would have to be either Oregon Springs, Welker Farm, or not Welker Farms, uh, Westbridge, or Lone gonna Oak. Say. I'm going to say Lone Oak, because it's the map that I've fallen in love with the hardest. Uh, and Mr. Mustang Man, again, I'm going to ask you the same thing. We talked about this earlier. What is your favorite map? It's really close between Oregon Springs and Lone Oak. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Oregon Springs because I played it more. Yes. It's really close, though. Yes. Martin Blanksper says pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. Moving on. <laughs> Zach Steele, why did you delete Walker Farms, fam? I deleted Walker Farms because it does not make for a good let's play for me to produce for you guys. Uh, some people would enjoy it. I was not enjoying making it, so I wasn't able to put 100% into it. Uh, so that's why I deleted Walker Farms. <laughs> uh, J for the win says, Stire or Case? Case. Very easy. Crazy cool. What headset do you use, and where did you get the music for the Speedies? Uh, he's also got another question as well. So the headset that I use is a Plantronics... Um, <laughs> I have to look at it. It's a Plantronics 400. 
Uh, there you go. It's it's really cool. You can pick these up at Walmart for about forty-five dollars. Very cool. Uh, he also said, if you had to teach a farmer on YouTube how to play Farming Simulator 17, who would it be? Oh, it'd be MM Millennial Farmer. No question about that. He is 100% my favorite YouTube farmer. So, uh, I think my second one, second favorite, would probably be either How Farms Work or Dino from the UK. Uh, he also used some John Deere stuff, and I believe he has a Challenger as well, which I think is so cool. Mr. Magnuson says, how do you edit and record your videos on Xbox? So earlier in the video, you guys saw the HD60 and the HD60S. Currently, I'm using the HD60S to record this video. Um, in the background right now, I actually have just Farming Simulator pulled up. As you can see right here, bam. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm just throwing on a video overlay so you guys can hear me, so you can hear me clearly. I know it's a little different from the video I shot a second ago with literally my iPhone 7, uh, but that's what I use. And then I use Final Cut Pro on Mac, and that's what I use to edit all my videos with. DK Slide says, what is on the wall behind you on your live streams? That stuff back there, that's the Vizio TV. Got all the stuff, got the lights in it. I showed you guys earlier in the video. I'm not going to go through the whole thing again, but you saw it. You know what's back there. Yeah. So we have a bunch, I mean a ton of anonymous questions and a bunch of funny questions that I thought or, or another friend of mine thought like, hey, you should put that in there. So we're just going to blast these, blast, blast, blast. We are going with, what is your favorite stock map? Any farming simulator. Westbrook Chills. Duh. What is your favorite part about your job? So, I'll tell you my favorite part about DJ. I'll tell you my favorite part about YouTube, because YouTube is a job now for me. My favorite part about DJing is going and being able to entertain and see how much fun people are having. And they're just having a blast and you know, dancing, having a good time. And they don't have to worry about anything else. The everything just disappears while they're watch, or while they're you know jamming out to the music I'm playing. And it's the exact same thing with YouTube. I love that people watch my content and go in and just lose themselves and forget where they are for you know 15, 20 minutes, maybe even five minutes, depending on what the video might be. And they just don't have to think anymore. You don't have to think. You don't have to worry. It's just. DJ Goham's on the screen. He's got Mustang Man with him. They're doing something. What are they doing? It's entertainment. Uh, and I hope that you guys enjoy that. That's my favorite part about my job, is to see the happiness that it brings to everyone around me. It's a lot of fun. I love it. What made you want to do YouTube? Oh, man, that's a Spartan 5005 right there. Uh, man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Spartan, Spar Mr. Woody Woo, Mr. 5005 himself. Miss Spartan 5005. I saw him doing YouTube. I met him in December of 2015, 2016, something like that. Uh, we were playing Grand Theft Auto together. I ended up bumping into a lobby. He was in there. He's about to record. We ended up chatting back and forth. I got in on his video. I thought it was so cool. He had like 300 subscribers at the time. And, and I thought it was awesome being in there and just making the video and even say like, okay, you know, when we do this, do this and you know, show this off, don't do this, don't say this, say this. And it was much easier and much more simple than when, the way I'm making it sound. But the whole process, I was like, oh, this is so cool. And I went for a long time thinking, man, I'm, I can never do this. I could never do this. I can never do this. And we did it. And we're here. And we're, you know, March, so March, April, May, June, July, August. We're here six months later. And we're already over a thousand subscribers, eleven hundred and seventy when recording this video. Absolutely incredible. And that's all you guys. I love that. That's, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> so that's that's what it was, Mr. Spart. Which favorite color? Uh, I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of dark blue. I'm wearing a dark blue shirt with a dark blue hat right now. Um, I got black and red and blue behind me. Black, red, and blue. So we kind of go back and forth between all those. How many days a week do you work? So my normal job, my, I say my day job, my night job, 
I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And with YouTube, obviously I work seven days a week. So once I wake up, usually about 11 a.m. my time, I'll get on, I'll check and see what mods we have. If there's no mods, you know, I'll, I'll get some lunch. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays, I always cook myself breakfast so I can kind of do my own thing, enjoy myself, not have to worry. And, and, uh, and then we do live stream Saturdays and Sundays, sometimes Fridays. We did a live stream uh, actually a couple hours before recording this. And, uh, and so that's, that's what I'm, if I'm awake, I'm working. And that's how I've been since, well, not really in high school. I hated working. I, I enjoyed having money, but I didn't, you know, I didn't like to work for it. Um, now I enjoy working. I, I like to say, but it keeps me busy, keeps me motivated. Um, the motivation and the success from one part of my life transfers to another part of my life. And it makes me want to be that successful doing that as well. Um, it's that drive and that want to, um, that, you know, do you have it? Do you not have it? Do you want to have it? <laughs> so that's how many days a week I work every day. <laughs> uh, how long does it take to make a video? Now this, this is, it kind of goes back and forth because what you have to do is you have to plan your video. So let's talk about the daily mod update videos. When I sit down, I say, okay, what mods do we have? I'll get on Giants Forum. I'll get on the Mod Hub first thing, and I'll start my Xbox, see what's on the Mod Hub on the Xbox. A lot of times, you'll have stuff that the Mod Hub says we have online, but you go on the Xbox and it's not there, or vice versa. We may have something that says it's not there, like PGR Slilno. We had it and didn't say anything about it. We only had it for a couple hours. Um, that is that. So you've got the time that it takes to prep, so let's say that takes five minutes. Then it's going to take me another three to five minutes to record. Well, if I don't get it right the first time, I'm going to have to do it again. So say that three to five minutes turns into 10 minutes to record. And then once that 10 minutes is up, then you get to go and you get to edit. So once that's over, once I'm done recording, immediately I go into Final Cut Pro, which is right here. And I will drag all the videos from my recording software, which is the Elgato Game Capture HD. My nose itches. <laughs> uh, go over to Final Cut Pro immediately. I'll load in the video, load in the audio. Um, I'll find any screenshots or pictures I need to take. I'll go back and get those, put those in the right place in the video where they belong. Then I'll go back and I'll put the music in the background so that... Oh, my nose itches. <laughs> totally unedited. You got to love it. So I'll go and do that. That process takes about 10 minutes. Um, once I'm done with that process, then I'll go in, I'll get all the tags, I'll get the title of the video, the description put together, and then I'll upload that straight to YouTube. While that's uploading, then I have to go and make the thumbnail. With the thumbnail, it goes in three parts. First is all of the text that goes on it. So I'll get all the text together and I'll say, okay, I have something in the corner for you guys that's up up here. It'll say like, you know, daily mod update or mods and testing in the date. And then down here I'll have, you know, you know, brand new Fent tractor or, you know, Giants is really screwing with us. Something like right here to get the attention. That's what I'll do there. And then up here usually it'll say like farming simulator seventeen, something like that. So I get all that together and I put that in a folder. And then I'll take that folder and we'll go into the next step. Step two is getting everything together with the thumbnail picture itself. So I'll find the picture. I'll put everything, bam, 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 where it needs to go on there and then save. <laughs> then, then we go into the border. Border is very easy. You just go into border maker anywhere online. Just type in Google border maker. Bam. You find what you're looking for. Put the picture in. Find the border you want. Make the color, thickness, and then save. And you're good to go. And then by that time, usually that video is uploaded. For other videos, it just depends on what's going on. I could go in and I could record for 30 minutes and have a 25-minute video. I could record for four hours and have a 10-minute video. It just depends on what's going on. There's really no rhyme or reason. I don't even know half the time how long it's going to take when I go in. So there's that. Would you rather stream or record and why? I like doing both. 
streaming's a lot of fun. Recording is a lot of work. But you get more views on videos than you do on live streams. So you have to take an account, you know, do those, you know, do you want all the views? Do you want to engage with your audience? The good thing to do is find a happy medium between the two. Um, the way I found is about 80% videos, 20% live streams, somewhere in there, three quarters to a quarter. Sometimes you go 90% to 10%. As long as you have a good little chunk of live streams, you'll be good. So keep those live streams in there if you're doing YouTube now. What do I prefer? Uh, I would say I do prefer the live streams because I can engage and talk and chat and it's just fun. Why do you hate European maps so much? I like to use large equipment and I like to be able to weave and get in and out of stuff. I like the European maps, but the thing is like, I like doing things on a large scale and yes, that takes longer, but you make more money. So were you trying to make more money in the game? What are you trying to do? Got to go from there. Why do tiny maps suck so much? And this is the same question. What are you guys asking me right now? This is uh, for me. Okay. So <laughs> do you want to answer this one? I think, I don't think tiny maps suck. There's just a limited amount of things that you can do. And when you start doing the same thing over and over again, visiting the same place, then it starts to get old. Yeah. And they're like mostly grass work. So it gets super boring and super repetitive when you do it. And you can't use big equipment to get it done fast. You got to use like the little three meter stuff and it takes forever. Yep. There you go. Uh, have you ever had any pets and what were they? So I've had uh, two cats, and I've lived with someone who had two dogs and some other animals as well that uh, didn't really matter, other than the bird. The bird was kind of a jerk. Uh, <laughs> growing up, I had a cat named Kit, K-I-T. Uh, when I came to college, I had a cat named uh, Hamtaro. Oh, yeah, yeah. And... Uh, and then I had Marshall and Thomas were two puppy dogs that we had. Very small, about 30 pounds each. Beautiful, beautiful dogs. And they were awesome. I loved them. Uh, the, if you Not ever, exactly small. Yeah, they're small to my standards. Small to my standards. Then, then uh, of course, <laughs> we had a bird named Lola who hated my guts. But that's a bird. So nothing you could do about that. Do you play on any other games other than Farming Simulator? I do play some other games. I have Forza 7 and Grand Theft Auto that I play. I do play some Minecraft as well. That's really it. I don't play anything else. Those are the games that I like. Those are the games that I play. So there you go. What's your favorite non-Farm Sim game? Oh, Grand Theft Auto. Yes. I love GTA. GTA is awesome. Love it. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, that one's a good time. What was your first FS game? It be FS15. I had it on Game Pass on Xbox. And then I bought Farm Sim 17 about a week later. After I had about 20 plus hours on the game save, I believe. So that was fun. Are you married or dating anyone? No. And no. And no kids either. No prospects. <laughs> what what's your favorite tractor? Ooh, it goes back and forth. I've got like three right now. Right now, the Massey Ferguson seventy seven hundred is my favorite tractor. But sometimes it is the Case Optum with twin uh, narrows, and sometimes it is the Fent seven hundred in any form. It just depends on what day it is, I guess. Uh, again, right now, Massey Ferguson seventy seven hundred. There you go. Next question is, can I do a face reveal? Yes, I can. It's me, guys, look! You've never seen me before. Look at that, why am I here? Whoa, look at everything in the background. This is so brand new. That's a dumb question. <laughs> PC or Mac? Mac, and then PC. Not one or the other, just Mac than PC. I use Mac every day. It's my work computer. I prefer it. But I have two PCs sitting over there that are there. So, yeah. Will you ever make videos on PC? Yes. Yes, I will. Just got to get a good one first. Next question. <laughs> what was the first video game you ever played? Ooh, it was Spyro on the original PlayStation. 
uh, the gray one. Yeah, back when they first came out, too, which was crazy. I had a demo disc. First game on there was Spyro, and I played the heck out of that demo. I thought it was the full version of the game. And I bought the full version of the game, and I was like, whoa, this game is way more in-depth than I thought it was. What was your first console? It was an NES and a Nintendo Entertainment System. I got Duck Hunt, the, blah, 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 the gun where the, the click on the gun makes more noise than the actual poo on the... Uh, the, the screen itself, like, pow, pow, pow. Uh, yeah, that was my first console I played the heck out of. I still have it. It's under there somewhere. <laughs> do you like cars? Yes, I do. What's your favorite car? Um, ooh. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Be something good. I, I want to <laughs> say Corvette because that's what I would buy if I had money. So ooh. Corvette. Um, but I think if I was smart, I would probably go for a Nissan GTR or Skyline, something like that. If I had to pick any Nissan, I couldn't get the GTR. I would try and go for a Sylvia Type R. Um, really, really sly, and I would deck it out. Oh, it would be so JDM. It's not even funny. What's your favorite Mustang? Oh, come on now. I wonder who asked me this question. <laughs> <laughs> not me. I would say. I don't know. What's it the old Fox body? Is that the one that we talked about? I believe. Yes, the old Fox body. Definitely, definitely, maybe. My favorite one. Uh, do you watch sports? Yes, I do. NFL and college basketball. I watch most. What's your favorite football team? Carolina Panthers, baby. You don't watch Panthers. I don't know what to tell you. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Ooh. No, it's a hot dog. Is water wet? Yes. Yes, water is wet. We just started a fire. Uh, if a company contacted you with a sponsorship, would you do it? Possibly. I've had a couple contact me already for sponsorships. Um, I had a company that does sound panels, and I said yes to that one. So we have some new sound panels coming in. You guys are the first people to hear about this Mustang Man. Doesn't even know about that. And uh, they will be two foot by two foot panels, and they're sending 56 panels. This place is going to be decked out. I'll show you guys <laughs> pictures of that after it's done. I ordered red ones, black ones, and blue ones. Duh. I <laughs> uh, also had a company that does tables, but I think it's spam, so I just clicked out of it. Are you ever going to do merch? Yes. Yes, I will do merch. Right now, doing merch is kind of silly because there'd be like four people buy shirts, and that's it. So once we get probably to a couple more thousand, we'll start doing some merch on small scale. And then we'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the final question, the final question today comes from Mustang Man himself. Hashtag yep. SDJ. Would you ever buy a wheel? Yes, if I can keep from breaking it. <laughs> I bought a you wheel for break it. I bought a wheel for Forza and broke it. I want the Saytech wheel. Where you have got the steering wheel and you got the thing on the side and all the buttons and everything. I want that, but I can't but have Thrustmaster's it. built so much better. Or even Logitech's built so much better. Yes. And there you go. <laughs> so, guys, that is going to be it for today's video and everything. I know it's a little bit longer than what you're used to, but, hey, it's a special occasion. Hitting a 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys, for everything. Thank you for every single one of you. None of you goes unnoticed by me. If you, if you ever comment in the comment section... You know I always respond. If I don't, I'm either dropping that like button, dropping that love button, that heart. Ooh, I love the best. <laughs> I'm always in there interacting with you guys. When I can't be, the mods are. Mr. Mustang Man's done a fantastic job of that while I've been out of town doing stuff. And and I've just got to give a huge shout out to him. Um, he's been here since like, how many subs? I was 46. He was sub 46. And I'm pretty sure I knew a lot of the people before then <laughs> a lot of them were friends of mine and people around but uh, we wouldn't be here without you guys and the support that you give me is fantastic thank you thank you thank you of course i'll be giving back all the time um it's this is a really cool thing that we're doing here we're going to keep expanding keep growing together answering questions mod updates tours everything anything pharmacist right here baby so that being said i hope you guys enjoy if you did smash that like button. drop a like if you've not already please subscribe join literally the thousand <laughs> that we have so far 
It's fantastic. Thank you guys. It's been a true pleasure to make videos for you so far. And we ain't even done yet. We ain't even done yet. Mr. Mustang Man, you want to say anything? See you, everybody. I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.